I think it's safe to say, uh, the last time I tried logging did not go well. Which is why I've decided we're better than that. And I'm going to make way too much farming on this map anyway, because I've kind of figured out the <laughs> golden way to do it. So, uh, we're going to try this a little bit. We're going to try this again, but as you can see, totally different place. I think the smart thing is probably to do our logging close to the sawmill. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I figure eventually we're going to have to buy this anyway. Might as well do it now. So there you go. We own all of this area, and I don't think there's a single tree that's cuttable. All right, maybe there's like two, but that doesn't really matter. What does matter, though, is there's a whole area right here, and it's cheap. 142000 I got 580 grand. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. So let's try this again, but this time, let's try not to die. I thought I... Urgh. I don't even know what button it is. There we go. We're going to try and find the largest poles. This is a large pole pine with a 36.3 meter uh, up there. And I'm going to get it. Just like before, we're going to be going with four meter logs. These are a whole lot easier to load up depending on what I want to do. I could also do six meter. Honestly, six meter probably a little bit easier for me, but... I've already decided on four. All right, so far so good. We're doing okay. Cutting down the third tree. I think these are all the same tree. It's all the same pine anyway, that's for sure. All right, this is probably good. I've definitely made a mess over here, that's for sure. So now it's going to come the time to see, can I auto load these? And I'm getting the trigger to say, yeah, go ahead and start, bro. So let's see, see how we do. All right. Got a couple on there. Nice, nice. One thing I'm not going to do, I am not going to push this thing past its limit. So as soon as it tells me, hey, that's enough, homie. Uh, no moss. Then I'm going to have to watch it. Hey, what happened with that one? And we'll get a couple more. And this will probably load us up almost full. All right, so far so good. Nothing crazy. It's not bouncing. I'm not being sent to the other side of the universe. I think we're okay. So we'll come down in here and how uh, cool that's pretty deep. And we'll go ahead and just kind of sit and wait on all this to sell. I'm sure you're probably pretty curious on how all this sells anyway. Just get in the water and you'll be just fine. All these logs are, they're cool, but they're not real. Oh, we should probably readjust this. Wooden beams, that's what we want, wooden beams. And there's a reason because planks for some reason are free for me. And I don't know why, I don't know how. If I start a new farmer without any mods installed, it's it's not free, but if I start with mods, the ones I have, it is free. And, and if you think I don't want free, oh, you crazy. While that's all going on, I'm also gonna utilize this time to come and delete some objects. Cause some things are trees, but man, they're just so annoying. Just all stuck in the ground and stuff. And I can't run over them. Ooh, that one's good. Ooh, we got some deadwoods over here. Let's go do those. So you guys know deadwoods basically sell for like two bucks, something like that. Actually, these are so close. I'm kind of considering just cutting them down and selling them because I'll actually get a decent price for them. Also, uh, there's a stump in here. I don't know where it came from, but I don't think it could go anywhere and I can't delete it. Now, obviously I'm not going to make any money from this. Uh, we made a decent chunk of change from the last setup, but uh, I'm guessing with, uh, <laughs> with Deadwoods, we're going to get nothing, and I'm going to prove it. Logs are in, and we've done pretty good. It says 34,840, so um, decent-ish, a little bit more than, well, I'll say a little bit more, actually, a little bit less than a third, so we just need to do three of those again. However... I've got ourselves a whole pile of deadwood here and a really laggy OBS for some reason today. Mornings are great, evenings, not so much. Let's, um, <laughs> it's like, nope, I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, that one's crooked. You know, there's one more, right? Uh, all right, got a couple more over here as well. Hopefully we don't hit the stump, even though that's exactly what we're doing right now. Yeah, there we go. I think I needed an off-road semi-truck for the first time ever. Let's go ahead and load a couple of... The yeah, that's... Uh-huh. Yep, that's where that's where I wanted those. Um, anybody know what happened, though? Hmm, a little bit confusing. Oh, well. It seems if I just obey the rules of the road and the laws of auto-loading, 
That is not pretty. I could have done a way better job than myself. I mean, um, no, this is great. This is good. Uh, you could you could definitely tell how good this this trailer's uh, loaded by the the auto loadingness of it. It ain't gonna be a whole lot. Oh, yo, hang on. I think I just found something. Yo, it's one of our first collectibles. Oh, it's gone. Where did it go? Yo, I got 50 grand for that. Yo. Oh yeah, I forgot. They all appear here in the Great Woods Gallery. <laughs> so let's see what we got. So this is the one that we just found. And do I have any more? No, I have no more. I thought I had more. All right, speaking of more, we got barely any more wood. Like what? Less than a thousand liters, something like that. Ridiculous. So if you're going to do anything with... Uh, Logs don't 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 do anything with the dead woods. Just delete them or something, because that's what I'm gonna start doing. All right, this one might be the biggest tree that I've cut down today. Oof! Yo, that's a big tree, dude. The it's got a bunch of limbs on it. Even though I can't no, I can't do nothing with them. Let's uh let's get this thing cut. Oh, that's big. Also, I switched up to six meter logs. I feel like this is probably going to make things a little bit easier for me moving forward, going into the trailer. Six meters. I think it'll do me just fine. But this, this is actually going great. That was, there was no drama in that whatsoever. Nice. All right. We'll cut some more down and we'll get some, uh, some more piles up ready to go. Might have got a little bit carried away. I've cut down a whole lot of trees. I mean, look. Look at, look at this. <laughs> it's, it's happening. I'm just going to cut down the rest of them real quick and then we'll worry about loading them up. Well, that was fun. They're all gone now. All the trees from this one little hill. They all gone. Oops. Now I got to go through and load them up. And I'm not sure which ones are, are to load up. And, and there's some that I'm not even sure where they are. <laughs> I do know that I'm going to auto load as many of them as possible. So the six meter logs seem to, to look like they loading in pretty well. That's good. Wait for it to kind of strap them down there. Now I did realize what was going on before. So I had shorter logs, of course, you know, the tips of the tops of the trees. Well, some of them, it says like, oh, hey, by the way, that last one was this long. So your next one needs to be here. And, and that's not good. <laughs> and another load in for the books. Ooh, yeah. I did, I, like, I know you're supposed to cut down a bunch of the same tree and stuff, but, like, look at this one. It's got all kinds of trees in there. It looks pretty good. All right. Brought down here. Let's get them all loaded up. After that last load, the logs are looking good. 61,969,000. Nice. All right, so I'm having a hard time finding the logs here. I know... They're in there. Of course, we could see most of them this way. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and we'll go to painting and we're going to find just this uh, forest ground texture and I'm trying to make it big enough where I could get these stupid bushes out of the way and maybe see. Look at that. There was a whole log under there. Didn't even know it. Bet there's some under here too. Nope. <laughs> but. Uh, this is one easy way where you guys can find kind of what you're looking for on the forest floor just by going in and painting a little bit of forest ground on it. And now you can see, I can see much, much better. I got bored <laughs> sitting here waiting on the darn thing to finish up load and unload. See, it's still not done yet, but logs are coming in. So that is good. What I decided to do is, well, uh, deforest is the entire hill. I mean, the whole darn thing. One thing I am going to do is, uh, well, I got to go through, delete all of the stumps. But after I do that, I think I'm going to come through and plant some trees. Yeah, kind of get some trees ready to go for that was, did that go in the ground? No, I've still got it. Uh, this should be fun, right? Have some extra trees, we'll wait a few years and let them grow back. Just a word to the wise, um, never accidentally delete your own com or uh, for for. I deleted Komatsu. It's gone. And and now Farm Sim has crashed. This is... This is the... Ugh! Why does it always end up like this? 